Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a button to your Google Sites and I'm going to show you some extra tricks at the end of this video on how you can animate this button and make it even more impressive. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now first things first, we'll need our Google Sites open. So let's go ahead and open our Google Sites and let's have a look at the built-in menu. On the right hand side, you will see there is an insert menu and you navigate down to find button. Now this will give you two options. At the top, you can give a text and this text will appear on top of your button. And then at the bottom, you press the link. Now this can be an external link to a website or it can be a link to a page previously created on your Google Sites. Now the limitation of this kind of button is that it's a static button you can click on it and the colors depend on whichever theme you have used now we can link to external websites and that's what I'm going to demonstrate right here I'm simply going to pop in flippedclassroomtutorials.com and then we're going to link to the channel. Now, you might have noticed, hold on a minute, what's that URL? Now that's our new URL that you can use. You can use flippedclassroomtutorials.com or flippedtutorials.com and you will come back right to this channel. Now let's move on to something a bit more interesting. Animated buttons. Yes, we can use CSS to animate our buttons. We can have rounded buttons, colorful buttons, and we can do a lot more with buttons. So let's dive on to the W3 school's website and let's navigate to the CSS buttons. Now I will leave a link in the description below and make sure that you share your favorite buttons in that comment section. I would love to hear which buttons you have used and why you have used them. Now let's scroll down and let's just look at all these different buttons that are available. As you can see, there's different colors, different sizes, different styles, but the one I'm looking for is the animated button right down at the bottom of this page. Now let's go ahead and dive into the try it yourself editor. First things first, let's select the color for our button. Now it has to match my theme. So I'm going to choose the same color as the rest of my theme. So let's go ahead and pop that color in. Now remember, CSS and HTML remembers a lot of color names. So you don't have to remember the hex code. You can use this. However, you can also try typing the actual color first. We can then scroll down, we can change the corners of our button, we can round them off a little bit more or we can keep them nice and pointy. We can scroll down a little bit more yet again and this is where we can now tweak the text displayed onto our button. So let's go ahead and type test. Now once you've done that, you will notice that we have that big run at the top. So let's go ahead and click on that and preview our button. We now have an animated button and whenever you hover over that button, you will see the text has a slight animation to it. Now one more thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that title. So at the bottom you will see there is an H tag and we are going to get rid of that H tag. So let's go ahead and delete that and all we're left with is our button. So now copy the entire HTML code and let's go back onto our Google Sites. We're going to double click embed embed code and now we're going to pop all that code right into our window. This now gives us a button. This button looks great, it's animated. There's just one little downside because this button is not a native button but an embedded button. Make sure that as you're designing your website you always double check your preview window. So you need to make sure it looks good on desktop, laptops, iPads and mobile. Because it's embedded sometimes the size can be a little bit tricky. And that's all there is to buttons in the new Google Sites. Now I can't wait to hear you respond in that comment section below with your favorite style of buttons and why you are using buttons on your Google Sites. And also let me know what else you would like to see me make in regards to Google Sites. I have a lot more videos coming on Google Sites. Now as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with a friend or colleague. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.